volume of carbon dioxide gas in milliliters at 700 mil 711 millimeters of mercury and 71 degrees Celsius can be produced when 2.4 grams magnesium carbonate are put into an Erlenmeyer flask containing 271 milliliters of 0 0.207 molar or molarity HCl. Well, a couple things we notice about this problem right away, hopefully, is we have grams of magnesium carbonate, and magnesium carbonate is one of our reactants. We have um, milliliters and molarity of our other reactants, and uh, whenever you have enough information to find moles about two reactants, that's a limiting reactant problem. So this is a limiting reactant problem. And uh, we're going to have to start with, uh, since I'm still on pink, let's do the HCl first. Let's, we're going to have to take our milliliters of HCl and convert it into liters. That means we move the decimal point one, two, three places. I get 0 0.271 liters. And we'll set up our picket fence. And uh, uh, liters and uh, this word of here is usually mathematically translated into multiply by. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm going to translate 0 0.207 molarity HCl. That equals 0 0.207 moles of HCl per liter. And now 0 0.207 moles of HCl per liter. And that's going to give me moles of HCl. And we're going to be interested, and let's see if I got a third color here. Let's do a nice green uh, for our CO2 gas. CO2 is over here, and according to how we do limiting reactant problems, you always want to find for both of your reactants the moles of product that you can make. And we're choosing CO2 gas in this case because that's what it's asking for. So let's see if I can try and keep this color coded. We know that for every two moles of HCl, there will be, well, there's no one there, but one mole of CO2 produced. And if we're going to find a oh, volume, so that's all the picket fence we're going to do. We're going to end with moles of CO2. And we're going to find moles of CO2 for both the HCl and the magnesium carbonate. And then whichever one is smaller, we're going to have to do a uh, ideal gas law, a PV equals NRT, in order to find out uh, what that volume of CO2 gas is. But there's no reason to do two of those. Let's just solve for our moles of HCl. And let's see... Let me set that up for you. Then we'll do blue for magnesium carbonate. We have 2.4 grams. And we have to get the molar mass of magnesium carbonate. So magnesium, uh, I know I have a periodic table around here somewhere. There it is. Magnesium. 24.30 plus carbon 12.01 plus three oxygens, three times 16. I get 84.31 grams magnesium carbonate per one mole. Now it's every one mole magnesium carbonate for one mole CO2. Oh, why did I write moles of HCl there? That should be moles of CO2, moles of CO2. And we can get our smaller amounts. I will let you do that. Um, but whichever one is smaller, you're going to then take and plug into a PV equals NRT. 
and you're gonna be solving for volume, and you have a pressure in millimeters of mercury, which you can convert to atmospheres, which you'll need to do. You have a temperature in degrees Celsius, so you can convert that to Kelvin, which you'll need to do. The ideal gas law constant, uh, you can look up, and you've probably worked with it quite a bit already. And moles. Well, whichever one is smaller, you're going to plug in for N for the number of moles. You can solve for volume. It will automatically be in liters. Ah, but the problem says convert it to milliliters. Do that as a final step.